I'm not, I'm not a genius. People say, oh, Scott, you're the one of the greatest artists. I'm not a great artist. I, I'm not. I, I see great artists out there. I'm just a messenger. God gave me a plan to celebrate and promote that flag and what it means through the gift that I have. God didn't give me a gun and a bayonet. He gave me paint and brush. I'm the kind of guy who needs challenge. I need to challenge myself and I've painted the flag I can't tell you how many thousands of times. And if you just look around, you can see I have to maintain the beauty and the respect of the flag. But as an artist, I need to change. I need to, how can I do it next? You know, this one's abstract. This one's a little geometric. You know, this one's impressionistic. This one's straight up realism. And then sometimes I feel like a wild son of a bitch and I'll just splatter, you'll see some of my flags, the paint's all just splattering in the reds and the oranges for the stripes. It represents everything, everybody. That's the beauty of it is that that's my flag, that's my flag, that's our flag. We artists have more freedoms than anyone else in this country. We get to test the boundaries of that First Amendment more than anyone else. It takes artists lifetimes, their lifetime to find their calling, and I found it. I said, I'm gonna bring this flag back to life through what I know, art. And people ask me all the time, aren't you bored of painting the same thing for 30 years, 25 years, over and over and over? I'm like, no. This flag I'm painting right now is just me and the beauty here, it's just as beautiful as the first flag I ever painted. And here I am, 25, 30 years later, I'm known as that guy that paints the American flag.